Welcome back, lawn lovers. BW here again. Hey, it's time to pick the garden. It's October 10th today, and there's a hard frost expected tonight, so it's time to harvest my garden. There have been a couple of light frosts already. You can tell by the browning and curling leaves on some of these plants. Peppers can withstand light frosts and protect their fruits well by covering them with lots of leaves. They're as ready to be harvested as the weather here will allow, so I better not take any more chances. I'll start with the Serranos. These plants didn't get as big as they have in past years. All summer I was wondering why that was. It wasn't until I started editing this video that I remembered that this is a different variety than I've been growing. The variety I usually buy was not available this year. I started growing my pepper plants from seed because I can grow varieties I can't get at local nurseries. I hope to get my usual variety, Serrano del Sol, again next year. These look like nice peppers though. They're actually hard to see amongst all the leaves. Not all of them are mature enough to harvest yet. It's not unusual for me to miss a few. They taste grassy when not mature, but become mature while still green, and are typically consumed at that stage. You can let them ripen to red, and they will get a little sweeter. I kind of like them red. There, not too bad. I got about a half a grocery bag of Serrano peppers. In the past, I usually got close to a full bag from the same number of plants. Was it the different variety, or was it the weather this year? I'm not sure. Now let's harvest the sweet bells. I'm starting with the plant with very few roots that fell out of the peat pot when I was planting them. Let's plant them and give them a chance to grow. There, it'll be interesting to see how he does. I wasn't going to plant this one because of that. Then I thought it might be fun to try it and see what happens. This little guy got off to a slower start than the rest of the bells, but now it seems to have caught up to the others by the end of the season. These bells grow very close to the ground and get a lot of dirt splashed on them when it rains. These also mature while still green and are typically eaten at that stage. You can also let these ripen to red and they get a little sweeter. I kind of like these red too. Wow, I got four nice bell peppers from that plant and I wasn't sure it would even grow. I'm gonna need another bag. I nearly got them all into one bag. Now let's pick the Fresno chilies. These are similar to jalapenos, but have a pointier end and are harvested and eaten when red. These have thinner walls than jalapenos and have a sweeter flavor. These make a great fresh pepper paste to mix or spread on your favorite foods. Now it's time for the jalapenos. These plants didn't grow well this year either. I grow this same variety yearly. Maybe the hot and very dry weather this year has hurt some of these plants. The jalapenos and the serranos especially. I haven't grown the bells and fresnos before, so I can't compare them to previous years. Jalapenos also mature while green and are typically eaten at that stage. You can also let these ripen to red and they get a little sweeter. I love these with the sweeter red color, but the classic flavor is in the mature green stage. Last but not least are the biggie chilies. I could only get two of these to grow into plants this year. I'm glad to have them though. These are an Anaheim type of pepper, eaten and cooked fresh or dried. All the peppers I'm growing can over ripen and soften at the end of the red stage. Unless you can go out and harvest every day, you'll end up with some chilies that are too mature or too immature to be eaten when you harvest them. I'm so grateful for this harvest, 
but it is the smallest harvest I can remember getting out of this garden. I had trouble with germination and even having enough to plant this year. Was it all because of the weather? I don't know, but I will take extra precautions when seed starting next year to see if I can get better germination. And I hope we experience a more typical summer next year. Oh, I had lots of tomatoes this year. I grow early girls and eat at least one a day, and it's hard for me to keep up with just two plants. Here's a look at the squash I grew in my other gardens. The peach colored squash is butternut squash, and the striped squash is delicata squash. You can sometimes find delicata in upscale grocery stores in season. The delicata is sweeter than the butternut, but not as thick walled. These gardens don't get full sun. Next year I'll plant powdery and mildew resistant varieties. And here's what I just collected from my pepper garden. Peppers and squash are great produce to grow for your local food bank. Now get out there and have some fun in your garden. And remember, you can do it.